If you are up bright and early tomorrow, you're going to see something special, a solar eclipse. And what we're looking at here is the path it's expected to take over the Northern Hemisphere. So Yellowknife, Regina, Toronto, Montreal, Atlantic Canada. It is an annular solar eclipse. So the sun's going to be blocked out by the moon. And when we have something of this nature, you know, we like to turn to Bob McDonald to explain it all to us. <laughs> He's in Victoria, uh, the host of Quirks and Quarks on CBC Radio One and our dear friend. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Heather. So it's going to be the ring of fire. Tell us all about this. Yeah, this is going to be very different from the one that happened in 2017 when millions of people got to see a total eclipse. This one, uh, it has to do with the mechanics of the Earth and the Moon and the Sun. So we got the Earth, the Moon, I'll be the Sun. You know, my mother called me Sunny when I was a kid because I was so bright. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it has to do with the mechanics here. The uh, In 2017, the moon was uh, down low and it went right across the middle of the Earth and everybody got to see it. This time it's a little bit higher in its orbit because it, it goes up and down as it goes around us. So this time the shadow's going over the North Pole, over the top of the world. That's why it's a Nunavut experience. But the moon is also uh, it, in its orbit. It sometimes is closer to us and sometimes it's farther away. And I can show you that effect. If you think about this globe, I'm trying to make everything fit here in the frame. Okay. Think about this globe now as the sun. Mm -hmm. If I hold the moon close to, let's see if I can do this here. If I hold the moon close to you, I can make it completely cover. Yes. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So there, we're completely covering it. And But if I move the moon further back, it doesn't. Okay, so that's the idea. So it's it's just that when the moon is farther away from us, it doesn't completely cover the sun, so you get a ring. And uh, so it's a different kind of, of eclipse. It's beautiful, but it won't go quite as dark as it did in 2017. That also means that you cannot look at this with your eyes. Even during totality, the sun will still be too bright, so you'll have to find a, another way to look at it. And and I have one suggestion on how to do that. Oh, do, do, is, do you have your eclipse glasses, or do you have your pinhole projection? <laughs> Actor. Uh, I have something else. Uh, oh, if you okay. have uh, eclipse glasses, it's great. I have a pair of binoculars, and uh, this is uh, one of my favorite ways to do it. All you do is uh, you don't look through the binoculars. Never do that. You turn your back to the sun, put the binoculars over your over your shoulder like this, and then take a piece of paper and uh, focus the sun on the paper, and you'll see two circles. And you can even you can even focus it, and you'll get a perfect image of the sun that way. But uh, so, or you can do it with a, a little telescope or even a camera lens, but project it, uh, project it onto the ground or a piece of paper and try it that way, but don't look at it with your eyes. But for those on the East Coast, uh, if you uh, get up early, it's going to be a sunrise eclipse uh, in some cases. So that as the sun comes up, it'll have a chunk taken out of it. Be okay. It'll be quite interesting. Can you take us through the time when people can see it? Like four o'clock yes, in the yes. morning, isn't it? Something around uh, that time, 445? Well, uh, well, for Churchill, Manitoba, maximum is at 5.09. Uh, Toronto, Montreal, and uh, Ottawa, it's 5.39. That's when the maximum is. This is the maximum. It actually starts before that. Uh, Halifax, 6.33 maximum. St. John's, 7.05. And Iqaluit, 6.19. Now, in all of those cases, it's going to be partially the, the the you won't get the full ring effect if you want the full ring effect you got to go to the beautiful cities of long lack marathon and grafton in ontario or up in uh, arviat in uh, up in northern ontario northern quebec uh, kujuac they'll get uh, they'll get more of the, the total effect so it's going to be quite uh, quite a spectacular thing it's a nunavut solar eclipse Fantastic. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate that, especially that safety warning for people who are going to okay. be taking part tomorrow. Bob McDonald from Victoria. And if you want to read more about this, again, just to remind yourself of when to watch and where and the details about an annular eclipse, we have a piece up online for you. It's at cbcnews.ca.